I've made a system that celebrates uh, hair that has been discarded from the head when you brush your hair. Um, it gets put onto a lifelong tool called the spindle and then you spin your hair throughout your life so you collect it, spin it and then you celebrate it by knitting it or crocheting it back into an object which then gets put into the wheel system that's passed on to your loved ones. So the idea came from when I went over to my grandma's house and um, she presented me with um, some plaits that she got cut off 70 years ago. So they were just stuffed at the back of her drawer. I thought that it was a shame for them to be stuffed there for this whole time and we should celebrate our hair each and every day. People have been giving me submissions of what they would actually do with the hair if they had it span into their whole lifetime's worth of it onto a spindle. Um, so I made this into a book and uh, picked eight objects which had different kind of complexity uh, to how it would actually be made and to different lengths of wool that you would need for it. It's sort of about normalising hair as a material that can be reused. It's also the idea of making it and you can combine it with other people's spindles and create like a maybe a hairy tapestry that falls from one generation onto the next and you might not even want to do anything with your hair, you might want to keep it as the spindle. But to actually think of an object that kind of sums you up and wanting someone else to have ownership of your hair is a very a loving gesture. The thong is actually for someone to give to their toy boy husband to remember the sexy times they had. Because it's itchy, you would notice it was there. And it also kind of makes you think about different points of your life within the spindle. So when you do eventually spin it back, you could have your brown hair, then you could have dyed it blonde to blue, curly, not curly. It's just got so many different points of time within the spindle. Um, when you go to knit it back, you're also reminded about what kind of points are in your life. So anyone can do this, and I've been continuing to get submissions from an Instagram at Spindled Stories. So I see design as fitting into every single part of our lives, um, to the clothes we wear, to what we do, to the systems that are all in place and they all interact with each other. 